Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our chest muscles. So let's begin. Let's start with our dynamic stretching, the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side as usual every day. Make sure you hold the stretch points at least for a couple of seconds to ensure proper unlocking and the stretch affecting your muscles don't hold it more than five seconds it's not required we are not doing a static stretch we are just doing a dynamic stretch just flow through the motion and let your body open up for our exercises you can do this particular stretch as i mentioned multiple times earlier you can do it before going to bed as soon as you wake up just to get that body rolling for the day just sped up the video a little bit not wasting much of time here just doing the five repetitions as usual. Now we move on to our deep squat. How we do it? As usual, we make sure we take a comfortable stance and then push our glutes as far behind as possible, feeling a stretch in our hamstrings. And once they are at the limit, bend your knees and slowly go down into a full deep squat as much as possible. If you still have little bit of restriction work on foam rolling your calves your hamstrings your quads you might gain a little bit more depth now to start off with our warm-up exercises for the day I'm going to do cable crossovers two sets 15 repetitions with 30 seconds break in between make sure your arms go across each other and try to touch your elbows both your elbows together this would emphasize and exaggerate the amount of squeeze possible at your chest remember your chest is an adductor muscle it likes to bring your arms towards the midline of the body and also take it across the midline of the body so doing that with resistance gives you the maximum amount of squeeze and contraction on your chest muscle fibers so don't just stop at your wrists touching each other go across and try to get your elbows in contact if you feel in a bit of discomfort in terms of getting that close of a squeeze, try as much as possible. Take a weight which is just about resistant enough. You don't have to take an extremely challenging weight for the warm-up set just to get our blood flowing into our chest muscles. That's about it. Now, I'm not only going to do this particular exercise for my warm-up, but I'm also going to do another two sets of warm-up sets for my inclined bench press which I'm going to do today, uh, do today as my first exercise so for that what I have done is basically taken a, a, a resistance band put it around my wrist to you know push my hands a bit out keep my shoulder stability and then did I uh, if you can see to mention I have taken a very slight incline on the bench I have not taken a proper 45 degrees it's about 30 degrees incline and with that inclination I started doing bench press with an empty barbell now if you don't have a barbell setup you can use dumbbells to do the same exercise it's absolutely the same range of motion I have done this earlier too but if you have a barbell I would recommend you to give it a try make sure you st your starting point the topmost point is at your eye level and your ending point is just above your nipples so it's a slanting range of motion as we go through it the resistance band is just to you know make you learn how to stabilize your arms and also let that posterior muscles fire up to keep your shoulder in a solid locked in position so once we are pretty much warmed up with all the blood in the chest and in our back to make sure of stability i started off with a very nominal weight because i haven't yet done in this last few days a bench press using a barbell so I wanted to check my strength levels first before choosing a challenging weight. So I have taken a very light weight, just 10 kilos on each side and started pressing. And as I did it, I realized I do have more strength. I can possibly push more. So I did 12 to 15 repetitions there and then immediately switched to double the weight. I got 20 kilos on each side and started pressing. This was challenging enough for me to get that sweet uh, 10 to 12 repetition mark in a challenging manner the emphasis again here here is to push the bar in a 
slant manner the bar at the top position should be at your eye level and as it comes down it lands on your chest so there is a slant uh, range it's also easy to rack once you take it to the eye level you just rack it safely now with the confidence of the 20 kilos each side i added on the 5 kilos but here i found myself a little bit unstable so i did three i think three repetitions and i decided to drop the weight a little bit back to the 20 kilos to get my uh, reps up to 10 repetitions so you can do the same if you are already experienced and know how to or you know the weight you can command in terms of doing 10 to 12 repetitions please go ahead and do that challenging weight you don't have to progressively overload like i did but if you are in a similar position like me try out your strength levels for my last set what i have done is i have decreased the weight to my first set weight to do an extra set to get more blood flowing and also relearn this exercise using a barbell improve my stability and also strength to push it forward i have done again 10 to 12 repetitions with my first set weight that is 10 kilos on each side now for my next exercise i am going to do standing calf raises here i have loaded myself with an extra 25 kilos how i done this i am using a weight loading belt which has a chain so you just hook a uh, plate onto it now if you don't have this particular setup it's absolutely fine you can do it in a standing calf raise machine or on a smith machine i like this setup because it leaves my upper body at a bit of relief and the weight is directly concentrated at the center point of my body so i can have a controlled progression i'm just holding the belt because i felt it a bit of slipping down so i just held the belt for my second set i did increase the weight by another 5 kilos actually 10 kilos so i was doing a fair bit of above my body weight calf raises and it was a good workout if you don't have access to any way to load it it's absolutely fine just do straight standing calf raises as many repetitions as possible for my next exercise i am going to do the pec fly machine so here i have done three sets so the first two sets i took a challenging weight pushed my head back and tried to get as much adduction as possible making sure my chest works really hard to get my arms together make sure your arms are in line or almost in line with your shoulders and try to push a challenging weight don't make it really easy to get those 10 to 12 repetitions for my third set i actually overshot the weight a little bit after getting 3 to 4 repetitions i realized i need to drop the weight so i immediately switched to a drop set technique to make sure i get all my repetitions in so after 3 to 4 repetitions i instantly dropped weight and i dropped the weight by almost i think 10 to 20 pounds that's about 5 to 10 kilos as you can see i'm wearing a small resistance band around my shoulders to just keep them roll behind it's not absolutely necessary it's just for me to get a little bit of feedback if any of my shoulder is trying to or is not quite stable it's for my own doing but you don't need to do that so i did i think three drop sets and was able to get this 12 to 15 repetitions in for all the weights included again a great exercise to induce that adduction motion for the chest to get a maximum amount of squeeze and we are done with this exercise so for my next exercise i am using an incline bench setup again at a 30 degree incline and i have placed that bench in front of a cable crossover machine and i am doing cable crossovers on an incline bench to get that extra bit of finishing for my chest i have done two sets 12 to 15 repetitions at a challenging weight make sure you again take your arms across each other try to touch your elbows to get that maximum squeeze as you can see it in my face how effective the reps were and how challenging the weight was but yes the weight was challenging enough only for me to get 10 to 12 repetitions not less than that now for our last exercise i am going to do the vertical hangs my spoiler alert i couldn't hang for long enough my forearms for some reason was sore i think it was 
delayed onset of soreness from all that uh, arms workout and the forearm workout, regular forearm workout. So they got strained pretty quickly and the calluses were hurting. So I couldn't hang as long as I am able to hang previously. That was about above one minute. So I think I hung around just for 30 to 40 seconds here. After that, I had to drop, take a break. Now for my next exercise, this is something which I'm adding to my routine now going forward is a core based exercise. These are oblique rotations wherein you take a lightweight stick, put it on your back, keep your feet grounded and you start rotating each side as far behind as possible. What does this do? This puts stress on your oblique muscles as your hips remain straight because your legs are grounded. I just speeded up the video because it's pretty simple exercise. There's not much to explain here. You have to just make sure you have a lightweight stick and keep your feet grounded. Don't move your feet off the ground. They will be a little bit stressed trying to travel down your hips, but try to keep your hips locked as much as possible and try to rotate as far behind as possible. You should start feeling an instant uh, stretch and contraction happening in your oblique muscles and also in your abdominal muscles. Why do this exercise? This exercise would emphasize our oblique muscles and try to we start training them again. To finish off with, I'm going to go for my lying down stick static stretch for my chest. And thank you so much for joining me. And if you did like the workout, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback, any uh, anything which you want to share, please do feel free to drop a comment. I would respond to every comment, at least for now, there are not many, so I would be definitely responding to every comment. Here for the static stretch, I have done this previously also, I just lie down on a bench, take a light stick, if you don't have a stick, if you have a ball, you can use a bossu ball, I have done that also in my previous videos, and just take your arms behind your head and let your chest stretch, remember your chest is an adductor, so it, li it likes your arms in front or near the midline of the body or with the body and now when we take the arms away from our body and above the your body you're basically stretching those muscles out and also giving a little bit of external rotation to your shoulder so a great way to finish off our chest workout after all that pushing motion you can do it three to five times hold every uh, position for at least 15 to 20 seconds to feel that stretch and that's it for today again thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you in my next video in the next workout thank you